I'm Brittany Lewis with Forbes Breaking News. The White House officially announced that Press Secretary Jen Psaki is leaving the job and will be replaced by current Deputy Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre. Psaki's departure does not come as a surprise, as she consistently maintained she would leave sometime this year. Rumors have swirled about whether she will take a cable news job after her departure. Jean-Pierre has led a number of briefings and is now making history. She will be the first black woman and first openly LGBTQ person to hold the title of White House Press Secretary. Listen in as Saki celebrates her replacement. It's been a bit of an exciting day around here. Um, so uh, before I get to the briefing, I just want to start by, uh, I'm going to cry. <laughs> okay. Whew. Um, I want to talk about my friend Corrine. You've got to come up here. So um, uh, I just want to uh, take the opportunity to celebrate and congratulate my friend, my colleague, my partner in truth, Corrine Jean-Pierre, the next White House press secretary. Uh, now, many people in this room have known her for some time. Um, but for anyone who does not know her, I want to provide a little bit of a primer for you, so settle in. Um, first, as you all know, she will be the first black woman, uh, the first out LGBTQ plus person to serve in this role, uh, which is amazing because representation matters. And she is going to, uh, st she will give a voice to so many and allow and show so many what is truly possible when you work hard and dream big, and that matters. And we should not, uh, we should celebrate that. But I also want to make clear what all of her qualifications are what a remarkable person is. She got her start in New York City politics. She comes to this job with decades of experience, even though she looks very young. We're <laughs> both in our 20s. That's right. Uh, having served in communications and political roles on many campaigns in the Obama-Biden administration and for both of former Ob President Obama's campaigns. She's a longtime advisor to President Biden and Dr. Biden. They are partners, having served in senior roles for him and for both of them back to when he was vice president. And she's worked for a number of advocacy organizations fighting for issues and justice for so many Americans. And I just want to say, I will have a lot to say about how grateful I am for uh, being for the trust the president and the first lady and the whole team have um, have given me and entrusted me uh, in the last 15 months. But this day is about Corrine, and we're, I want to celebrate her. And on a personal note, I want to say that one of the first conversations we had when we both found out we yes. were getting these <laughs> jobs. Um, was about how we wanted to build um, a drama-free, on your best days, um, a place, workplace, where everybody worked hard, uh, where we, on our best days, were rebuilding trust with the public. And I am just so grateful to have had Corrine by my side um, for this over the last 15 months. And I just can't wait to see her shine uh, at the podium. So um, congratulations. And I can't wait to see you bring your own style and brilliance Thank to this you. job. Love you, Jen. Love you. Love you. I promise not to cry again, so that's it. <laughs> we already cried. We already cried. Um, okay. Um.